This ABC 15 News Update is sponsored by Sanderson Ford, America's best-selling Ford dealership. I'm Ted Fredericks with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona. A oh, Phoenix police officer involved in a deadly crash just before 9 this morning near 35th Avenue in Thunderbird. Police tell us the officer was transporting a prisoner when they collided with a second car. That car sent flying into a light pole and then a power box catching fire. The driver did not survive. I heard a loud bang and then another loud bang and then an explosion. And then I saw smoke and came running. And at that point, uh, came over to this corner here. Saw the car on fire, a couple civilians uh, had small fire extinguishers trying to put it out, but the fire was going too hard. Um, they really had no chance of putting it out. At that point, they were just waiting for the fire department to show up. Uh, at that point. The officer involved along with the prisoner were taken to the hospital. They are expected to recover. Phoenix police will do an internal investigation into this crash. New today, four teenagers arrested in connection with the killing of 17 year old Mark Levia last month. Levia was shot outside an apartment complex near 7th Avenue in Southern. A 19 year old, two 18 year olds and a minor all now facing charges, including first degree murder. Police have not yet released new details on what they believe led up to the shooting or what evidence they have linking the four teens to the crime. Now to international news. Czech police say at least 15 people were killed, about 25 others injured in a shooting at Charles University in Prague. Officials say the shooter took his own life after the attack. Police suspect a 24 year old student was responsible for the mass shooting. Students finally leaving campus after they locked themselves in classrooms during the attack. Some classmates even hiding on a ledge to escape. Police continue to investigate. An Idaho judge ruling Chad Daybell is eligible for the death penalty if found guilty of murder. He's been charged in connection to the deaths of doomsday mom Lori Vallow Daybell's two children and his first wife. His trial is set for April. When it comes to former Valley mom Lori Vallow, she was found guilty in the deaths of her two children in Idaho and was extradited back here to Arizona. Now to exclusive images of a scam. The FBI showing how criminals tamper with gift cards. Shoplifters take them from stores and place a bogus security sticker over the real one. The scammer reseals the packaging and then puts it back on the shelf where unsuspecting customers fill these compromised cards with money that's sometimes instantly stolen. How would a consumer even know that the gift card they're buying actually has no value because it's been siphoned away by some criminal. So the consumer has to be really vigilant. Here are some tips from the FBI. They say check to see if the packaging seems tampered with. Also buy gift cards kept behind a counter and save your receipts. Uplifting Arizona, an Arizona Eagle Scout awarded for his heroism after jumping into action during a fiery car crash last March. Vaughn Gross of Yuma given a National Heroism Award by the Boy Scouts of America. Last March, the 18 year old jumped out of his car on I-8 after spotting a terrible car accident. Gross and other Good Samaritans put out some of the flames, pulled a man to safety and administered first aid until help arrived. While he says he's honored to receive the recognition, he reminds us there are plenty of ways for for all of us to be heroes. You can be a hero without doing things like help on an emergency scene. If you go to your local food bank and you help out, or if you just lend a hand in some community service project, uh, that's enough to be considered a hero in my opinion. Great advice there. He says his training in the Boy Scouts as well as his volunteer work with Yuma Fire prepared him for this moment. It likely won't be his last as he hopes to eventually become a firefighter. Tracking your forecast, I'm Chief Meteorologist Amber Sellins, and we've got a big old storm coming into Arizona. Look at future cast starting in the overnight hours rain in southwestern Arizona. That then pushes north throughout the morning tomorrow and all day. It is go time here across the Phoenix metro area and beyond with widespread rain as a winter storm moves in. Flood alerts have been issued. These are flood watches for all the areas you see shaded in green, including the valley, where we could see anywhere from a half an inch to an inch and a half of rain Friday into Saturday morning. So tomorrow will be a weather action day. Rain will impact your commutes and any outdoor events. Some of them may be canceled as we continue to track that rain potential all day long and drop highs into the mid 60s tomorrow afternoon. We'll stay in the mid 60s through the rest of Christmas weekend. Saturday still a chance for rain mainly in the morning and a slight chance of an isolated shower or two on Sunday, but we are dry again by Christmas. 
This ABC 15 News Update is sponsored by Sanderson Ford, America's best-selling Ford dealership.